This is Files UWP. It's in beta right now on the Microsoft Store for Windows 10. And basically, it is a UWP fluently designed files app. Basically, what a lot of people wanted, a lot of enthusiasts wanted with Windows 10 was for them to, for Microsoft to finally update the file explorer to something that looks more streamlined, more modern looking. Um, and yes, they did slight tweaks to it, but they didn't add things like tab, tab file browsing and things like that. And this app wants to solve that issue by giving us an option of that. But again, it is in beta. But let's take a look at how good it might be or the potential of it could be. This is files. It's in beta. Um, it's a simple application that allows you to view your file explorer in a fluent design. So as you can tell, uh, let me show you the original file explorer. So the original Windows file explorer looks kind of like this. Well, it looks exactly like this with some obviously. And I like how the file explorer for the original Windows 10 looks like. You know, you can see how much space there is with a graphic on your computer. And then we go to the files that I'm looking at here, the beta version of this application. This is not sponsored by Microsoft. This is not uh, created by Microsoft, as, as I should say. This is an independent developer, which I'll put his name below. Um, and it it looks really nice. It looks really, really good. And once again, like people say, this application seems like something that should have been built into Windows 10 in the first place, obviously with some tweaks, uh, namely uh, having that little graphic that tells you how much space you have on your hard drive instead of having to hover over. Because as you can see here, if you hover over, then you can see how much space is on the hard drive. Um, instead of, And there's no way you can pull this thing out here and see the full graphic of how much space there is. There is no view for that, even when I go to the home view, which this is. Uh, but the one thing that it does have that a lot of people will heavily appreciate is it has tabs. Everybody and everybody who uh, is a power user on Windows has been asking for tabs for the file explorer. And obviously most app developers hear that call and they add it into their applications. Pretty much every application that I've seen that's a file explorer app has tabs for it uh, for Windows 10. And this does the same thing. So this gives you, you know, on your home screen, this gives you your simple selections, just like the original. You can see I have the simple selections here. Obviously, I added some uh, to my own, uh, but this one here has its own selections. So you have your downloads, your documents, your pictures, your music, and your videos, just like the original one here where I have uh, my downloads, documents, pictures, video, and then these three that I added on my own for favoriting. Um, and since this is in beta, um, since this is in beta, obviously, it's not perfect. Um, they don't have some features that I would love to see, namely, let me be able to change the, let me be able to add this to the home screen so that way I can see my drives up in center, like right here or somewhere, or maybe similar to the quick view on the original file explorer. Um, but if I go into, let's say, if I go into downloads, you can see I have, I have downloads here. I have a bunch of thumbnails, obviously, but I do have downloads here, just like the original. Now, the thing with this screen here is that there's really no way to preview what your files are. When you double click on it, then it brings you to whatever app is your default for viewing that kind of file. So if I right click here, you can see I right click this image file and you can see open with, and then that's when it will just open. And for some reason, when you hit open with, it opens the default. You would think open with, with the three dots would open up um, like the little dialog menu that tells you um, what program do you want to open it with? So that's another thing the app developers should do. They should make sure they fix that thing where when you hit open with, it should route to the open with screen of Windows 10 and not just opening up like normal because that's not what open with means. Set as desktop background. So if I want to change my background, I can change it to this image, share, shares it to whatever files or whatever thing I want to share it to. You have your cut and you have your copy. Um, and then paste will show up if you copy it. So if I right click here and I hit copy, if I right click on say this empty space right here, then you'll see paste right there. Uh, back to this file here, you can delete, you can rename it. Uh, and that's it. That's how it looks like. Um, I think right here, I think another thing the developers should watch in terms of attention to detail, the, the developer should make sure this is centered in the cell. 
So the wording and everything for whatever the name of the file is should be centered in the cell because there's more space on the left here than there is on the right and there's more space on top than it is on the bottom. So they should watch that too. Um, another thing that you can do is you can uh, use view the properties and it views the properties in a fluent manner. Um, it's very simple properties like it doesn't have tabs and everything but you should be able to view it in a more fluent manner. You can change the name and whatever it is you want to do. Uh, you can go into folders. So if you want to do Project Plus, Project Plus, for those of you who are curious what this is, Project Plus is a um, homebrew for the Wii. Um, it allows you to run like Project M. It's pretty much Project M. No, Smash Bros. Project M. Um, but you can see that stuff. You can see if I want to add a folder to this, you hit the plus icon. You can see I want to add a folder, text document, and looks like here, another typo that the developer needs to fix. It is in beta, like I say. The developer should spell document correctly. It's D O C U M E N T. Yep, D O. <laughs> I had to think about that to make sure. I think he just needs to flop um, the N and the E so that way it's correct. So he spelled it wrong. He needs to fix that spelling. You can add a bitmap image and things like that. It allows you to search too in this folder. Uh, it looks like the search doesn't even work when I click on it. Search doesn't work, so they need to fix that. Um, you can copy the path so that way if you want to paste the path anywhere you can do that So look I can copy and I can paste the path. That's pretty cool. And then you can open in terminal uh, Opening in terminal basically this developer is um, more Thinking about Microsoft's terminal uh, Application which is their replacement to command prompt and PowerShell it has all of it built in so by default if you're opening up this fluent application if you have Windows terminal it'll probably jump straight to terminal. I do not have terminal on this laptop, um, but I have it on my other computer and it works pretty well. Um, going back, let me just go back to this folder and go back to downloads. So going back to this screen filled with different colors and icons, basically I wanna show you this main screen here because clicking on any of these other things here doesn't really matter, mainly because they all show the same rough things. It's just whatever is located in there, but this is a variety of items so you can see how different things look like. Um, and with those interruptions from this other app that I'm looking at, um, you can see here that the layout looks really clean and simple. Now, one thing is you're noticing it's in the more thumbnail grid view. If you want to change the layout of it, it's very strange because this application, there's supposed to be something in the bottom corner that lets you change uh, the, the grid. And if I click back home or if I click maybe desktop, sometimes that thing shows up at the bottom. It's basically like two things at the bottom here that you're supposed to see and it lets you change. Uh, you can also right click and it'll let you add different things. But that uh, that option doesn't show up. See, now it showed up after a while. So sometimes it doesn't show up and sometimes it does. But it's these two icons here. Uh, one other thing to the developer, if you have anything on the page as an icon, let us hover over it and see what it means because people don't know what these two mean on average. Let us hover over it and see what the um, what it means. That goes for every element in this entire application. The hover command needs to be added. Um, but if you click on this, you can change between list and grid view. And if you click on this, you can select or clear selection. Um, or you can just hit control A and you can select all. Um, it does the same thing. So if you do that, that's how that works. You know, it looks pretty nice overall. Um, it definitely does the part for what it should be. Now, getting back to this left side menu here, you got your home, your desktop, your downloads, your documents. Uh, pictures, music, videos, the developer, let me see if he's added it, nope. The developer, what another thing he should add is he should enable the function to be able to drag a folder or set a folder as a favorite so it appears in this side. That would be another thing that he should add, he or she should add. Um, another thing too, you can see here, when I hover over my drive, Blade 15, you see the storage when I hover over, so he added that to that. But there's no way you can actually get that that drive info to be on the home screen here there's, there's no way you can add it the developer like i said in the beginning should add that function to it um, but overall you do have the same things you know and everything it's it's pretty straightforward whatever you have um going down to settings you can see the theme it opens up a new tab and you can see the um theme here so if i can set it just like every other application on windows 10 you can set it between system dark and light theme you can set the date format um, you can set the acrylic sidebar. So basically that changes the sidebar from like the black to acrylic. Um, so if I actually go back here, you can see it's now see through. And if I change it again, I have two monitors. So it's kind of getting like in my way. 
If I change it again, it goes back. Actually, I'm not even sure it's not changing. So there's little bugs that are that are just that are happening, but it's supposed to change the sidebar um, to something else. Uh, on startup, you can set it so that way when you open up this application, what it does, whether it opens a new tab, it continues where you left off, or opens a specific page. Um, you have your preferences. This basically just allows you to set defaults. You want to pin the OneDrive folder to the sidebar or not. You can show a confirmation dialog when deleting folders, or you can do terminal applications. Basically, if you have another terminal style application, you can set that here. So if you have Windows Terminal, it will show up there. Um, files and folders. You can see here, you want, you can, if you want to add files and folders and drives, show hidden files, folders, and drives, you can choose that option. I don't need to. You can show drive letters. And then here's the about information for it. It, it like I said, it is a it is a beta, um, and these are some of the people that they're special thanking to. But one a few things that I'm gonna say just to summarize this whole thing up is um, let us be able to add favorite folders and such to this sidebar here. Let this drives area also show up on the home screen because when you first show up on your file explorer, it's a good chance you're trying to see. You don't want to click on the side. You just want to see exactly what the information is right in front of you really big. And let us see that breakdown of drive info. Oops. Let us see that breakdown of drive info just like the original one that Microsoft uh, put into Windows 10. Um, another thing, just the little bugs. When you, If you want to change the view of, uh, of whatever the info you're looking at, so going back to downloads folder, if you want to change the how this looks like, you can see that thing I showed in the beginning where those two icons to change the view, they're not showing up again, but sometimes they do show up. If I click around, see now it shows back again. See, it, it, it's, it disappears in and out, and they need to keep this thing always there all the time. Uh, I don't know whether they need to change some things above here so it makes it easier to see what they do, but they need to add them. And then also another thing, let us do the hover. Let us hover over icons so we know what they mean. Uh, like you can see here, the Blade 15, if I hover over it, it shows me how much storage I have. Let us have that for just about everything. You see that shows me the full file name if I hover, but this doesn't do anything. Let us do that. And then let us, instead of going all the way to the settings menu and going to preferences and things like that or file and folder to edit, show hidden files and stuff, let us be able to just simply, maybe something can come up here just like the ribbon on the regular File Explorer. If I'll show you an example, you can see here Microsoft has view and you can change things like that. It's really nice, but it's really small. Um, let us be able to quickly set whether or not we want to show hidden files and things like that without having to go deep into settings and then go back a tab. Um, let us do that. But overall, it's a good start. It's definitely clean. It's definitely what should have been built into Windows 10, but it does need some heavy polish. Uh, luckily it is in beta and it is free to run. Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this. This is called files. Um, it's for, it's a beta for it. And, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And, uh, last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how it looks in list view. And this is how files look in list view. So if you want to see that, um, oh yeah. And last thing, last, last thing, last thing is, um, I like I know how this this sidebar is here, but I think just like every other application on Windows 10 that looks like similar to this, let us be able to collapse this sidebar a little bit. Let us be able to shrink it maybe or collapse it all together so we just see icons if we're used to what they mean. But by default, I think it should show this, but it should give the user an option to just collapse it and only see icons so you can see more information on this page here. But overall, it's a good application, like I said before. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching. My name is Kwaku, and if you need to reach me, you can either leave a comment or send me an email, which is written in front of you right now. All right, everybody, take care.